Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to add a person into a photo just like that. There we go. And if you like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And let's go ahead and get to work on this one. Let's just close this down. I'll just save that. There we go. Now I use two pictures. There's this one right here. And also if we go down here to the photo bin, I have one more picture right here. If you want to use these same images for this, you can download these from my website. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And while you're looking at the description, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. It's also right down there as well. Okay, we'll start off with this picture right here. Let me just get this minimized again. Now we need to have some space over here, left-hand side, to put that person in. We don't have anybody right here, so we need to do that. And because we've been doing a lot of work on this image, I'm going to save this out as a new file. Go over to File, Save As, and I'll put it right here in one of my working folders that just calls one Add Person. And I'll make this one a Photoshop file. There we go. And choose Save. There it is. Okay. Now, we need to put more space on the left-hand side. So the first thing you need to do is you need to extend or expand your canvas size. And that's up here. Image. Come down to Resize Canvas Size right there. And the first thing down here is your anchor point. This is where the image will be sitting after you've made the extension. I want mine on the right-hand side here so that my canvas extends into the left-hand side. Okay. Now, the width up here is at 1920. I'm just going to add just a bit on this one. We'll make this 2500. I'll leave the height the same. Extension color background, that's just fine. I also could choose you know, white, gray, black, anything else. But I'll leave it at the default white. Choose OK. It just gives us more space over here. And I'll fit on screen so you can see the whole thing there. Let's just zoom back just to basically see that. There it is. So we just made our picture larger and give ourselves some more space over here on the left-hand side to put one more person in there. Let's now extend the image. This one's real easy. Go up here to the magic wand, click inside that. There we go. Go up to edit, come down to fill selection. Make sure it's set at content aware and blend mode normal. Choose OK. And we'll let Photoshop Elements fix that for us. And there we go. And then just deselect. OK, that's taken care of. Now we need to separate these girls out onto their own layer so that I can slide another picture in behind them in front of the background. So for that, let's just first go back here to fit screen. There we go. And I'll grab the lasso tool and I'll just start up here above her head where it's easy to spot where I know I'm starting from. And I'll just do a real simple lasso just around the figure here. Doesn't need to be real careful or anything. Just stay relatively close, but it doesn't need to be, you know, real careful, real close, anything like that. And just work your way around. The right hand side doesn't actually matter. It's just the left hand side since that's where our figure is going to be going. Down here, click on Refine Edge. See, there is the brush size. That's okay. I have my set over here for Overlay. I'll choose a Smart Radius. I'll leave everything else alone. And then let me just come in here and brush just like this. Sometimes I'll work out a little bit like that. And then come in. Just do a couple of passes. And just in little short passes like this. And then let Photoshop Elements go in and figure the whole thing out. It does a very good job with this. Now, the harder your edge, the better this works. This has a nice hard edge on the left-hand side, which is why I'm choosing to put the new image over there. I know it's going to fit in just fine. There we go. And we'll just work our way around in here. We're across the top here. Again, I'm doing a couple of passes. One right there where you see that change into the red mat and then moving in towards the subject. There we go. And let's work all the way around clear to the bottom. Again, it doesn't matter over here, but you might as well do a good job anyway. You might decide to change the side you're using, things like that. So there's reasons to do the whole thing. And let's keep on going around. There we go. Now down here, I'm going to work up into the hair like that. And I'll come back for one more pass at that as you go along. Photoshop Elements goes back and it checks everything each time you do this. So it may come back and actually fix things elsewhere. Even if you're working down here, it may fix things someplace else. So a little bit up in here that's not getting caught, but I think we'll be okay. There we go. Okay, looks good. Now go over here where it says Output 2, Changes to New Layer with Layer Mask, choose OK. I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff in here. It's going to be just fine in this case. Let's show our background again. And up here, you can't see that. Don't worry about that. That sometimes happens in Photoshop Elements. It'll show up at some point. So don't worry about your blank thumbnails. They'll come back again. Now, this allows me to put something in between. So if I come down here, and let's just grab a shape over here. Let's do a big star. Let's make this a nice green star like that. That's kind of nice. And I'll just put a green star right in here. 
and notice how it's now in behind that layer up here that has these girls on it so you can now slide something in back there okay let's just get rid of that let's now work on our image for going in behind and for that we need the other picture that's right down here in our photo bin and that's this one let's now grab him out i'll just float him right here if you don't have floating windows go up here to edit come down to preferences and general and then in here general tab right there it says allow floating documents in expert mode make sure that, that is checked you can then do floating windows okay we'll do the exact same trick here back to our lasso tool let's just do a nice little lasso right around this person now depending upon where you get your image you may or may not have to be a little more careful about doing this one particular step if you have a real busy background it may take you longer to actually separate out your image from the background but same idea just go around use one of these tools and just do a nice separation i have lots of videos on how to remove backgrounds and one of those will show your specific need okay that's good refine edge again here we are same thing and i'll just start right down here and let's go clear around the image just taking out that edge but if you brush over like this photoshop elements goes in and re-examines that edge and then makes it a lot tighter up to the subject it's basically looking for a change in the color and contrast between the foreground and the background so the more contrast or color difference you have the easier this particular tool works and we'll go clear around this side now on all these things because we're using layer masks you can always go back in and clean the layer mask up a bit more in the future if you have to if it's not quite right you can go back and clean that up it's actually very easy to do okay looks good let's output this to new layer with layer mask choose okay there we go and then take this layer your new layer here and drag it over here onto the original image and just drop it in like that let's close them down i'm not going to save anything there back to our move tool and there we go now examine your shadows in here his shadow is on the left side their shadows are on the right hand side so we need to flip his image flip that layer go up to image come down to rotate and flip layer horizontal okay now his shadow is on the correct side matching their shadows we can then position him now he's a bit too small you can see right up here here's a control handle on it you can kind of see it as i move that around there's that control handle showing I'm just going to grab that and I'll pull him up until he seems like he's about the right size. This is a, just a, a visual choice. You know, don't go too big, obviously. Don't go too small. Try to make it look like it's the right size. Just drag that until you find a good size that works for you. I think that's pretty good right there. Hit the green check mark for OK. We can then position him where we want him. Now, he has a cutoff head up here, so I'll put that right up against the edge. And I'll just position him maybe over here. I think maybe he's a little bit too large. Let's just bring them down just a little bit. So maybe a little back and forth on that. Okay, now the shadowing is right, but the coloration is a little bit off on these. So we'll do a couple things on that. Let's first bring our coloration down. Notice that they are outside. It's probably overcast. There's no real bright highlights anywhere in here. It looks like it actually is overcast. So we need to tone down his colors a little bit over here. So layer, new adjustment layer. And let's do a hue saturation layer right here. Where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask check that choose okay and here's our controls now we're comparing the face tones in here with their flesh tones over there want a little less saturation on his just pull it back a little bit and that looks pretty good actually i think we're okay on that saturation we can check the lightness in here no that's no good i'll put that back to zero again he's maybe just a little bit more red than they are so let's change this to the reds and bring the red saturation down just a little bit and that looks like a pretty good match right there okay now they're a bit more contrasty in here actually she's not she's not very contrasty on this side but it looks like they could use just a little bit of a contrast adjustment over here but i do want to bring up the contrast for the whole image better so let's go up here to the top layer and then layer new adjustment layer levels this time don't check that choose okay it will now be applied to everything then I'll pull the left side in just a little bit. It just kind of richens up those darks. Most pictures can use this particular adjustment, making them just a little bit richer on the black side. There we are. We can balance that out with a mid-tone control here, and I think that's pretty good right in there. So there we go. 
Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Take a look in the description for my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. Check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos, and I'll see you next time.